Grandma, I need some tissue. Grandma, can you bring me some tissue? Grandma! Grandma, here you go! my hand! That's what I'm putting down my head! I'm gonna get it from a bitch! Look at it! Boy, I'm getting it all the damn day! I'm sorry! Get that goddamn kid off my head! Wait, let me! I gotta wipe! I'm gonna bring your no goddamn I gotta wipe, Grandma! Man, so Diddy G must be highly upset. You know what I'm saying? I still haven't talked to him about the uh, thing. I just been kind of reacting to it. But I'm pretty sure that he's not happy because he said apology not accepted. It's the end. So this is basically confirmation that it's the end. Oh, you know, and 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 Diddy G arguments went gold, bro. So that's a huge congratulations for him too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Round of applause for Diddy G, man. That was some good shit on me. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of that shit for real, man. Somebody like I personally know, like they got a gold fucking plaque. Like that's crazy. This shit crazy, bro. It's, it's crazy. Cool. But like you say though, man, we about to get right into it, man. I don't want to just, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even about to edit the video. I'm gonna just let it be straight, bro. You gonna be editing it and be like, what the fuck am I talking about? Back to another video with your boy DDG. Now y'all been spamming me to watch this video, and I'm watching. I see everybody else reacting to it. And shit. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and um, watch this video. This is probably my last. Yeah, this is my last video about this girl. I'm done with it. I'm over it. I'm finished. My nigga DDG got an ad. I thought it was an ad. Oh, then I was like, this nigga DDG keeping the ads in these motherfuckers. Um, hate that it had to be this way. I know the last thing I want to come to is a bully. Ooh. I'm not a bully. <clears throat> I'm not a bully. I'm not none of that, man. Um, it was just shit had to be said, bro. I just don't like being lied on. I don't like people uh, trying to. Nobody talk does DDG on me. When I did so much for them. Come on. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to make this video. And a lot of people are seeing her true colors and it's coming out. So apparently she made an apology. I already don't accept it. He's like, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you trying to. Because you already I did. I think it. that he like, just oh got it. Not and saying. And then, and I comments, no cap. And I comments before, I ain't trying to cut you off. And I comments, they were saying, like, that she never said sorry to DDG. So I don't even think. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what I'm saying. I think that with him, for him to go further in his career and his life and all that, he's making boundaries at at a at a point right away. Like with people, like no, I don't, I don't accept this type of behavior from anybody that well, I work with. On my brand, with. on me. Or anything, Real shit, I'm not gonna like on waste me. my time on this. Or, on me. You know, me. I have to keep moving forward. Yeah, and, on everything. And, and, and that, like, okay, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, that was a, a good point. This is the everybody else. Like, this is not how I do business. So on don't me. come in. You know, yeah. I think that he just know his. He just know his boundaries right. and shit. Yeah. He know what he doing. Oh, everything. That was she good. Did, she that just, was just, she just, like, yeah. that was good for everybody to see. Yeah, right it was. You have, you so have to have business boundaries. Video, like, but it's already something off top that's like Which crazy. Will and will not this video is only really seven minutes long, right? I taught you way better than that. Because <laughs> oh, DDG, we gonna get that ten minutes. I told you, we gonna get that ten minutes. No cap. Yeah, you yeah. We gonna get the man. Ten minutes. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, bro, from the jump, I could have been an asshole and I could have took a piece of this one. You want to hate on me? You want to make hate videos about me? All right, we both going to get paid off of it. I could have been an asshole, but you know what? I'm going to let her get her money because I don't play with people's money. And it's not it's, it's not in my interest to make anybody feel like they stuck with me or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like... Like that shit crazy because we both leave like a motherfucker. Our birthdays is the same. Like, fuck, that's what I'm saying. I feel you still in the same way. After this video, I don't want anybody going to Riley's video to dislike. Let her. You just get how his mental is. Right? Yeah, like I understand it. Like, yeah, I be like, I don't, I don't do that shit either. Yeah. Business, you don't accept it. Y'all dislike the video. It doesn't hurt anybody. It doesn't hurt anybody. It doesn't make you make less money, anything like that. When you go to her video and watch it, she getting paid. Yeah, right now she getting paid. So the more everybody clicking, she getting paid. What I gave Riley away and let her do it on her own since I didn't do enough for her. But after this video, I'm done talking about Riley. 
I might really have watched this video. Let's see what she's talking about. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for everybody who's viewing this video right now so that way we can just get down to the bottom. I'll say something about that. So if you guys could please hear me out in this video, I would appreciate it. I want to start off by saying that I apologize for coming off as ungrateful inside of my videos. My intentions have always been pure. I'm very grateful that I got this opportunity and I've learned so much in such a short period of time. This is not Riley talking, bro. <laughs> this ain't her talking. I know this girl. This is not her talking. She filmed this video probably 20 times, and she probably got a teleprompter behind the, behind the camera. It's already fake. I reacted off of the Yeah, so he's saying this. That's why I say when you get two sides, bro. He been, I ain't never been around. Bro, because, like, he, I ain't like never been how around. we didn't even know, but we know what it's like when you're reading, like, behind the camera. And I'm not trying to do that even on her, but it's like you did your homework like that. So I'm like, I noticed that she just saying it so perfectly. But I mean, she probably just wanted it to sound good because it is an apology, whatever. In my but way, yeah, you know, I genuinely just want to grow and move forward from this situation. Damn. I know I may have came off untitled and ungrateful grow and move forward from this situation. You're not even looking at the camera, bro. See, oh my god. <laughs> The caca. I know I may have came off untitled and ungrateful to a lot of people so and I just want to apologize deeply for that. I did not mean to come off as any of this type of person because that's just not who I am. This was a business deal between two people and it should have just stayed between us. Man, I can't even say anything in name. That's crazy to me, man. Still. At the end of the day, it was never. The thing is, bro, like, with the Zooty stuff, it's not just business. It's really not. And I told Riley that. I'm like, listen, in the moment that I figured out Riley was just trying to be on some business stuff, I let her go. And I was like, no, we don't need to work together no more because I'm not doing this so we can, I can make a little piece of the money that you make. I don't care about the money. I'm doing this because I want to create an empire. You know what I'm saying? And everybody that I work with, we like really cool. Yeah, a long term about, relationship. Yeah. yeah. We have, you know what I'm saying? We talk about personal stuff together, like actual friends. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to, I never wanted Zuda to be like just a business thing. I think that's where she had it messed up. She thought she was the boss. You know what I'm saying? But in reality, we both bosses. That was the whole point of Zuda. It's not to be an employee or worker of anybody. She thought that I worked for her. And she thought it was strictly business and I was the, I, owed her something. It was not that, right? You read contracts, not that. I don't owe you anything. The whole thing of this is for me to help you grow. And that's what I did in a month. 200,000 subscribers. Facts. Which is now under that because you are fake. Again, I'd like to expose Riley, but I am ah, a real person damn. and I don't think that that justifies He's my being real fake content that's... situation, but it's just not me. And I also just wanted to- Well, the camera angle changed. So y'all gotta see through these, these scripted- Oh, damn, the camera. I didn't even see that when we were dragging to it yesterday. The camera angles is changing. I mean, I just see the cuts in it. The whole camera angle. You don't see that? She I just do doing it, it her, taking her time to do it. I should have live streamed my response because, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing to no, say. No, these. Like, like she, you will take us out. The other one. What? I said, you will take us out. No, no, I'm not taking her side. What are you talking about? I said she probably edited it because she had to do it section by section. I also just wanted to say, I feel like somebody recorded harm or any type of. See, the Fiverr website is really looking at easy to use. It's like shopping on any one of your favorite e-commerce sites. I'm Gave up on anybody by putting my boyfriend and my brother in. That's exactly what you did. What were they in the video for? It had yeah, nothing to do to with me and you. I haven't even met your me head ass boyfriend. <laughs> never even met him. Never met the nigga at all. I promise I never met him. Met her brother twice. Like, bro, what are they in the video for? They don't want no smoke. Like, niggas ain't pulling up. So what the hell you got him in a video for? He was literally trying to make me feel some type of way. Make talk that shit. I strictly only put them in there for support and just help me. It was a presence. It was that. I told you what it was. That's what you thought. Yeah. But that everything was just said because it. they were in the video. It ain't anybody, right? The video is about me. <laughs> Who else do you need to apologize to besides me? And I didn't hear my name in this motherfucker once. Just how you didn't mention my name in that little interview you did. I don't know who the hell you think you are. <laughs> All this shit is fake. Fake. I'm folding. I realized where I went wrong in that and I should have just been myself since this is a situation that's with me. I want to start with my- Another camera angle change. I don't know what this is. 
the lighting changed. Listen, right? So you been doing that was, shit all we day. Like, <laughs> we like, from morning to night, adding more. And I just want to say, you want to help them in exchange, they do something else for you. But he don't even do YouTube videos. He an editor. So what would he need exposure from you for? Listen, if anybody edit me a video, I'll pay them. You know what I'm saying? Caleb, if you want to edit some videos for me, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? We can do some shit. Um, <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to pay your editors, man. Y'all gotta realize, somebody might edit a video for you, you might pay them a certain amount, but you're gonna make more than what you paid for anyway. So you're telling me you was making 100% profit and not paying me and it was making your videos blow up or making your videos a certain. I remember she did a dodgeball video. I'm talking about she got different angles she got all this i know it took him about three days to edit that and you didn't give him a penny come on now. there's no justification for that and the publicity on all platforms i put him in the description box of all of the videos that don't even got the man name in it man oh damn you couldn't even put the man name in it damn i this is shit i'm not even picking out the first time i'm saying the nigga it. couldn't even get a mention What's going on with you? Name. It, it gotta be something underlying, man. You know what I'm saying? It can't just be. And by the way, I don't, I don't want to come off as a bully. You know, even though Riley was fake to me, I was genuine to her. You know what I'm saying? And I had actual care for this girl in a friendly way. But I didn't know that you was not paying this nigga. Like that's crazy. Like I would never, I would have never been like, oh, that don't pay him. You're supposed to pay your editors, man. And I even went back to go see our messages so I can show people exactly what the conversations we had, but he... Let's see. We can retransfer the video and see... Oh, uh, he gotta read the messages. <laughs> what are you gonna I didn't read them. Right? That I really needed an editor for. I edit my own videos. I know how to do the basics on that situation if you guys are watching a video like this. Guess what? Like this. Guess who sat down with you for hours? I'm talking about I sat down with Riley for hours, bro. Teaching her how to edit, gave her a laptop. She just to come over here and we sit down for hours and I just teach her how to edit. And I also edit some of her videos. You know what I'm saying? But it's crazy because I still haven't heard my, my name mentioned. When I'm the under, I'm the whole reason why you're even getting hate. I'm the only reason why you should be apologizing to me. Who are you apologizing? Oh yeah, that's not apology. Exactly. Cause you didn't say I'm sorry to DJ Gene at all. On me. I didn't hey, get my name that's right now. And that's what everybody was saying in the comments. They was like, "Dang, he didn't even say no apology." So I can do it myself, and that's the only case. Um, the reason why you got an editor is because you didn't want to edit the videos yourself. Stop lying. You didn't want to edit the videos yourself when you went to Chicago. So you had to do edit it for you and you put the videos out. That is being made, lying about what's happening is really damaging my character. It's making it so it could benefit. So I'm sorry on that situation. Of course, don't even read their DMs, you know. I was just reading them and trying to help the people that I could, that we could both benefit. So I'm sorry on that situation. Um, a big video hit, his name was Triller. And he was talking. Man, oh, you can't disrespect my nigga Trill, saucy like that, man. Yeah. Your name ain't Triller, man. Talking about how me and him were sending messages back and forth, flirting, and I'm exposing myself. All these things. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how he's created this. Besides the fact, if you look closely, it's clearly an edited video. But before I even thought it was edited, I went to his account. Here's Triller. I went to his account <laughs> and I tried to look at the messages between us and every time it goes and it has this error and I don't understand why all of these people are out here to get on the bandwagon of exposing Riley. Because you start. <laughs> why are you doing videos about it? Because you see how much money you make. Quit trying to act like you're just doing this shit just because you were genuinely sorry. You're not really sorry, Riley. <laughs> The rest of this video, the camera angle changed again. <laughs> He's not responding to stuff because more it's not true, so he doesn't like it. It's just going to be very, very extremely hard for you to come back from this. This is a very, very fake apology. I don't accept it. Matter of fact, it's nothing for me to accept. I didn't get mentioned in the video. Oh, man. That's hurtful for me. Just because. You ain't hurt nobody in the video but me. You ain't try to hurt nobody in the video but me. Your whole 30 minute video was about me. But you have the audacity to come on here and make a video and not even apologize to me. 
something. It has put you on to the whole YouTube game. You got a hundred thousand followers on Instagram. Unfollow riders on Instagram. What the hell? You couldn't even not the do again. To apologize to me. Oh, like shit. that's crazy to me, bro. It's wild. But you know what? This will be the last time that I speak on you. Don't hit me up for no help. Don't hit nobody else up for no help. Don't try to be collabing with niggas that I fuck with. Stay your ass over there. Stay your ass over there. Stay far away from me, please. Sorry. Stay far away from me and other genuine people. Because this is fake as hell. I can't believe it. Damn, I thought I was going to get the actual thing that was bad. And I was going to be able to watch this and be like, you know what? You know what I'm saying? This ain't nothing but scripted content. Fake apology. I'm over it. They done done. Um, I'm not even gonna say get right to the 50k. She already lost the honey. Unsubscribe if you still subscribe. I'm not even gonna say that. I'm not even gonna be petty. Okay. So, um, I don't have much to say. I don't have much else to say. Y'all wanted me to look at it, but it was no point to be watching this video oh, me. at all. And I honestly, I, I, I would have been. I, yeah, man. So that's really it for the video, man. As I can see, DDG didn't accept the apology, man. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? Because there was no apology to begin with, man. Yeah. Um, like you say, man, me and Dami V, we chilling, man. Ain't nothing too much to do. So make sure y'all turn up, go up next time, next day with us, man, because we're going to keep uploading consistently, man. Make sure y'all follow all the links in the description. Follow me on my socials, all on the score 1K. Remember, don't do cracker cocaine. Follow Dami V. Dami V, Instagram, and Twitter, baby. Give me a follow. And we out.